This is a significant milestone for India. The under construction Mumbai Trans Harbour link is all set to be India's longest bridge. Not just that, this will be the first sea bridge in India to have an open road tolling ORT system. This will allow commuters to drive at speeds of up to 100 km per hour without slowing down to pay the toll charge. It would cater to 70,000 vehicles daily. The total length is about 22 km. The sea length is about 16.5 km and the land length around 5.5 km. It aims to connect Mumbai with Navi Mumbai, the financial capital satellite city, in order to mitigate traffic congestion and promote economic development. Travelling time from Mumbai to Pune will be reduced to 90 minutes. It will bring places like Goa, Pune and Nagpur closer to Mumbai. Around 95% of the work has been done. It is likely to open to the public towards the end of this year. The six-lane road bridge is being constructed by the MMRDA. MMRDA will start the waterproofing, asphalting and construction of crash barriers at the ceiling. The authority will also start working on installing CCTV cameras, lamppost and toll infrastructure. The MTHL was planned around 30 years ago to speed up the traffic between Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. Maharashtra Chief Minister Shinde, along with Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, inspected the under-construction Mumbai Trans Harbour Link. They flagged off the first bus to cross the MTHL to mark the deck slab installation completion. This bridge is one of the many engineering marvels in India. For instance, India is home to the world's tallest railway bridge. Jammu and Kashmir will soon have the world's tallest railway bridge. It will be taller than the iconic Eiffel Tower by 35 meters. The arch bridge is built across the Chenab River in Jammu and Kashmir, at a height of 359 meters from the riverbed level. This ambitious plan is for a seamless journey between Kashmir and the rest of India throughout the year. The bridge can withstand up to 8 magnitude earthquakes and high intensity blasts. Trains can cruise at 100 km per hour on the mega structure. The bridge is about 1.315 km long. This arch bridge in Andhra Pradesh is built across Godavari River. The Godavari Arch Bridge stands on a high-velocity water flow and cyclone-prone area. It is one of the longest span pre-stressed concrete arch bridges in Asia. Spanning 2 km across the Park Strait, this bridge is India's first sea bridge. It connects Pamban Island city of Rameshwaram to the mainland India. It was commissioned in 1914. Now a new Pamban Bridge will replace the iconic old Pamban Bridge. A new vertical lift bridge will allow ships and streamers to pass through without any hindrance. India's longest rail cum road bridge was inaugurated on December 25, 2018. The bridge connects the north and south banks of the turbulent Brahmaputra. The bridge is 4.94 km long and stands 32 meters above the water level. It has three lane roads on top and a double-lined railway track below. The Indian railways crisscross the length and breadth of the country, traversing some of the most difficult and picturesque locations.